France champions returned home with wife Kiara for a victory parade through Melbourne. I'm glad to be able to come home and, and celebrate it with everyone who supported me. The first Australian to win the famous race remains modest and unassuming. Sometimes you forget there's 20 million people at home cheering you on. Tomorrow the cheers will echo around St Kilda Road as he rides from the National Gallery to Federation Square for a government reception. You must be looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, yes. And yes. But first he had more family friendly things on his mind. Always nice to come home and get a hug from your mum. His mother and grandmother Helen and Gwen Cox rushed to celebrate with their hero. Very excited, dying to get into see Well I guess like everybody else I'll give him a big hug. <laughs> and meet up they did as former Premier Jeff Kennett declared the Westgate, not the Bowen Heads Bridge, should be named after Cadell. When I cross the Balti, I always think of Sir Henry. Well, when I cross the Westgate, I'd like to think of Cadell. When it comes to Jeff, um, I'm surprised he didn't suggest he was going to change his own name but uh, to Cadell. Tomorrow, Premier Bowyer will present the champ with this gift from the public, a crystal trophy in the shape of Victoria, prepared by Winning Edge Presentations. It's unique. Um, Cadell's effort was one of the world's greatest uh, efforts for an Australian. And Austral Bricks in Craigieburn has built a 100 square metre mural to mark the victory. Coming here, it's really over overwhelming and we're so, so happy to be here right now. The nation sentiment summed up in just three words. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News. And Brendan Donoghue's at Federation Square tonight, where the presentation will take place tomorrow. Brendan, how are the preparations going for the Victory Parade? Well, Peter, the stage is well and truly set for the big event tomorrow. Cadell Evans will cycle from the National Gallery to here at Federation Square, where he'll be greeted by the Premier Ted Bayou and presented with this a crystal trophy, a special gift from the people of Victoria. And just a reminder, if you can't get down here tomorrow, the event will be televised live on 7 from noon. Peter? Thanks, Brendan. Brendan Donoghue reports.